As they said at the Permaculture Voices Conference, I'll never forget it. Stop talking and start digging. So we're just out here digging, right, Drew? Yeah. Good morning, crazy hair, don't care. What are you cooking us this morning? Lunch. Lunch. What animal do you want to be? Octopus. Okay, octopus. See how quick you can put away one of these bags of groceries. Okay. In the fridge, that's one way to do it. Good job, Lily. Good job, Josiah. What animal are you? Uh, a falcon falcon. Okay. The, the peregrine falcon. Whoa, that means you're fast. Look at these kids go. Just trying to make chores a little funner. Here Josiah is about to jump off the swing, so do it. How was it? Good. Jonah is about to jump off the wing. Okay, yeah. How was it? What are you doing, Big Daddy? I'm oh, tired. Yeah. You're tired. Huh? You you were playing with the kids, huh? Yeah. Hey. Who's that? Can you tell Grandma happy birthday? Can you say happy birthday? She's 29. Oh, is this from you? Yeah. Oh, oh thank you. Oh, so pretty. I love tulips. Grandma. Double flower. They're There's flowers. Flower. Oh. And then mm, and then Lily made pretty. Grandma a, a card. You going? Here we go. Here he goes. Isn't that pretty? That's a Whoa. house in the sun. Whoa. Who's that? Hey guys. Yeah. Me? Yeah. And who's that? Big Daddy. Big Daddy. Oh, that's Grandpa. Isn't yeah. that pretty? You got, there we go. you got a buddy here today, Mr. Brown? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, you got a fan, buddy. Drew, you're back for some more abuse, huh? It was good. You didn't get enough the first time. No. I didn't beat you up bad enough on that. Uh, King of the Hill contest, huh? Didn't I win that or no? You. Oh. Won that. <laughs> I don't remember now. You won that. All right, cool. You giving me a break, huh? Yeah. I just get to be the boss. I can point. <laughs> Take it over there, man. <laughs> Up the hill, man. We got a visitor. Mo. Did they meet you yet? Yeah. 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 You helped herd herd them. That's right. That's I, him. I walked behind him. That's yep. all. <laughs> well, you did a good job walking behind them, didn't he? <laughs> Not too close. What kind of breed are your cows? They all have horns, I noticed. Yeah, this is American Milking Devon. Yes, they all have horns. Even that one, even the big mama, has got the horns. Why? Well, they're there for you to grab them and take control. <laughs> handles. <laughs> they're handles. You're supposed to ride on the back there on the shoulders. Are you ready to do that? Oh, now we're, I don't what? use this thing. <laughs> I don't know. Is it, is it a... <laughs> Listen, Drew, we're just taking what we can get, man. These are the old tools. These are old grandpa and and dad's tools. And we're just going to take what we get. Sure, we should be out here with some better stuff. But right now, we've got this bushwhacker and some loppers. And we're just going to go behind the cows. And we'll just do this for a little bit, man. We don't have to exhaust this whole field. But go around and get some of the bigger stuff and chop it down. And that way, the grass can come up and uh, beat it out. We'll help the cows. I mean, the cows have done some of it, see? See, they've bent that down and broke it down. But now, we're just gonna go and get a little at workout, show off. Whoa! Good hit, man. Shh. Nice. Is that it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel awkward good. doing that. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's gotta be a better way. We gotta look this up, okay? There's probably a right way to do this. Some and you're not, and you're not doing it. With these things that <laughs> We've, we've worked our way all the way from the uh, fence down there. But we've only cut down about three feet here. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So you're whacking away at that. We don't even know the name of that thing. Affecting. Somebody's going to make fun of us. Somebody's going to say, we don't know anything. But you know what? We know something. It works. This is what we know. It works, right? It's bet. Okay, listen, guys. you got to learn this. Just do. These are the tools we had in our shed. This needed to get done. We're whacking away. Sure, there's more efficient way. We can figure out how to do it. And that's down the road. And I'm sure we will. 
and we'll beast mode this field with better tools, proper technique, but for now, we're just knocking it down and it's working. It's just important that we stop analyzing everything and we just start doing, as they said at the Permaculture Voices Conference, I'll never forget it, stop talking and start digging. So we're just out here digging, right Drew? Yeah. I'm mainly filming and you're mainly digging. <laughs> <laughs> it takes two. <laughs> Somebody's got to do this job. Hold the camera. I should back up a little bit. You're getting, you're getting a little close there. Praying mantis larva sacks. Nice. I've seen a couple. All right, Drew. Glad you're here, buddy. Is this we we got to move this water. <laughs> you got to flip this water while I film. I'll do the hard job. And not get shocked or crush this electric fence. Otherwise, we're going to have to go turn it off. So, if you undo that, that'll only un unshockify that one. Yeah, why don't you just flip it over on it, we'll risk that it won't break, and then it'll come right back. <laughs> you need me to do it? Good. Now bring it back up. Without getting shocked. <laughs> yeah, you won't get shocked, it's in plastic. Okay. Good. I'm calling this the front fence because we're going that way and it's just the fence that is temporary to cross so the cows cannot go any further that way. And there's the back fence so they can't go back. Okay, so this is going to be the new back fence so they can't come back this way. And we're going to put up a new front fence somewhere right, at, right in here. And they're going to help mash this down and keep on going, doing their job. Now we're moving the mobile mineral sled over to their new paddock. Look at this site, chiddlers everywhere. Some with no clothes on. <laughs> Look, we moved the chicken tractor. We're gonna move it up to the front yard. They had a bunch of eggs in there. They were getting excited thinking this food. I'm afraid one might break one. Look, 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 there's a duck the... egg in there too. You ever had a duck egg, Drew? Dude, I haven't. I have ducks and I haven't had one yet. And I've been Oh, it's exciting. Okay, so Drew, before we get these bags out of here so the mice can quit getting into them, we're gonna set up we're gonna set up something special for the mice. You're gonna mix this feed. Okay, go ahead. That's the wheat. We're doing 30% uh, wheat. What are you getting there? Oats. We're doing 10% uh, oats. Go ahead. We've measured it out. And we're going to do 30% corn and 20% uh, peas. Go around and around. And so that's, so that's, it's already mixed up when we come to get a scoop out of it. Because if you were to fill this up, all corn and then all weeds and then all uh, the other stuff, it'd be really hard to mix it. So we kind of mix it as we go. Guys, look at this dumpster score. This thing is a huge plastic bin. I saw it next to a dumpster at a grocery store. I said, could I have it? They said, yeah, this is like four inches thick of plastic. I put my feet in it before to keep my side of it. I guess I just didn't want to lug it around, but now that Drew's here, we're going to go put it around in the garage and, and put some of that feed in there. There it is, Drew. Put your hands up. Woo! We did it. All right, we put it in this huge plastic bin. Deductive reasoning says a mouse can't climb out of a plastic bucket. They're not going to be able to climb up a plastic bin. So we got it off the wall. Hopefully that's far enough. Then we put it on these metal pallets. Maybe they can climb it. Maybe they can't. We'll see. We'll hope for the best. There's at least a lot less points of access. It's at least not nearly as easy. Right, Drew? We got it. We got a table full of chiddlers. I'm going to run this Yeah! Okay, Breaking out the kids' table for this dinner. Okay, guys, look at this. We ran out of bowls, so you're going to have to use a coffee cup. Is that cool? You get to use a coffee cup. That's crazy. You like it out of a coffee cup? Oh, yeah. You like it out of a coffee cup, Becky? You like that chili? Yeah. But it looks like you're coming along with eating <laughs> or spilling. Oh my gosh, Mr. Brown. We're just gonna have to strip you down, buddy. It was really cool. I don't even think you can keep these clothes on. <laughs>